Good morning, uh, colleagues. Um, can I first of all remind everyone to switch their mobile phone off? Uh, and can I welcome members um, to the 23rd meeting of the Devolution Further Powers Committee of 2015? Agenda item number one is the Scotland Act 1998 Modification of Schedules, 4 and 5 Order, 2015. Uh, that's our first item of business. We have two witnesses in regard to that today. They are Joe Fitzpatrick, who is the Minister for Parliamentary Business in the Scottish Government, and Roddy Angus, who is the Policy Officer of Elections and Constitution Division of the Scottish Government. I thank the Minister for attending. Uh, and I just wish, wonder if you wish to make an opening statement, Minister. Yeah, th uh, thanks very much, Convener, and um, good morning, and thanks for the opportunity to set out the Government's view on the order that is before you today. Um, this order devolves legislative, legislative competence to the Scottish Parliament to change the date of the Scottish Parliament election, which is scheduled to take place on May 2020. When the Fixed Term Parliament Act 2011 was passed at Westminster, it provided that the next general election for membership of the UK Parliament would take place on the 7th of May 2015, and subsequent general, general elections would take place on the first Thursday in May every fifth year. The same Act, with the Scottish Parliament's agreement, also provided that the next Scottish Parliament election would be held on the 5th of May 2016. Now, the Scotland Act 1998 provides that the poll of the Scottish Parliament ordinary general election is to be held on the first Thursday of May every fourth year. So the combined effect of these two pieces of legislation is that, as things currently stand, there would be a general election to both the UK and Scottish Parliament elections on the 7th of May 2020. So clearly such a clash is undesirable um, as set out and as set out in the presiding officer's letter of the 21st of May 2015 to the Secretary of State for Scotland, party leaders in Scotland were in agreement that an alternative date for the Scottish parliamentary election should be set. And that view is supported by the Scottish Government. Um, I think there's also universal agreement that voters should know the length of the parliamentary term they are voting for before they go to the polls um, in May 2016. Um, but if the Scottish Parliament is to legislate in advance of the May 2016 elections, then the powers to do so need to be devolved now. Devolving that power is exactly what this order does. Um, order, um, as you said, is made under Section 30 of the Scotland Act 1998, which provides a mechanism whereby Schedule 4 and Schedule 5 of the 1998 Act can be modified by an order of council subject to the agreement of both the UK and Scottish Parliaments. And this order amends both Schedules 4 and Schedule 5. Uh, firstly, Schedule 4 to the Act um, lists enactments which are protected from modification by the Scottish Parliament, and much of the 1998 Act is itself included in that list. Um, this order will amend Schedule 4 to allow an Act of the Scottish Parliament to modify Section 2.2 in relation to the first Scottish Parliamentary Ordinary General Election after 2016. Secondly, Schedule 5 of the 1998 Act lists the matters that are reserved to the UK Parliament and, amongst other things, elections for membership of the Scottish Parliament are reserved. Um, in order that the Scottish Parliament can determine the day of the poll at the first Scottish Parliament ordinary general election after 2016, this order will amend Schedule 5 to provide that that matter is no longer uh, a reserved matter. So these combined amendments will ensure the Scottish Parliament has the power to determine the date of the first Scottish Parliamentary Ordinary General Election to be held after next May's election. The Order also amends Section 2 of the Act in connection with amendments to Schedule 4 and 5. And the, the Order also places certain limitations on the day which can be chosen. Specifically, the Order prevents the the day of the poll determined by the Scottish Parliament being the same day as the day of the poll of a UK parliamentary general election, other than um, a, an early parliamentary election, which clearly couldn't be predicted, a European Parliament general election, or an ordinary local government election in Scotland. And those limitations are in line with the recommendation of the Smith Commission agreement and are consistent with uh, Gould's recommendations. Um, so that's an outline of the order which has already been approved by both houses of the UK Parliament. Um, how the powers um, devolved by this order are exercised will be a matter for Parliament to consider in a future bill. But in her statement on the Scottish Government's programme for government, the First Minister announced that the Scottish Election Dates Bill will be introduced in the Scottish Parliament once this order has been approved by Her Majesty in Council. Um, that bill will propose a five-year term for the Scottish Parliament following next year's general 
um, election um, on to moving the, the following general election to uh, May 2021. Both Northern Ireland and uh, the Wales Assembly uh, general elections, which also would have been on May 2020, have already been moved to 2021. Now, moving the Scottish Parliament elections to the first uh, Thursday in May 2021 will, however, mean that there would be a clash with the local government elections, which are scheduled for the same date. And we are currently um, in the process of seeking the views of COSLA um, on what action might be taken to address that. Um, one option would be to move those elections to 2022. Um, that would mean a five-year term for those local government councillors elected in May 2017 and would replicate a similar one-year extension to the current local government term. Those are obviously matters which the Parliament will consider when the bill is, is introduced. Um, but, Kavina, I hope the committee agrees that this order is a sensible and pragmatic solution which will allow the Scottish Parliament to change the date of the Scottish Parliament election, which is currently scheduled for May 2020, and thereby, thereby avoid a clash with the UK general election. And I'm happy to answer any questions the committee have. Okay. Do any of my colleagues have any questions? Malcolm Chisholm. I mean, I'm sure no one's going to object to the bill, but, and, I, and I may just be not understanding completely, but. Are you saying it's specifically about this one election? Because I'm just wondering why there isn't a general power to determine all future elections, because you can see this happening over and over again, basically. I, I think the, 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 the further powers are, are dealt with within, within Smith and, and are being they'll looked come, at come, in, okay, in that okay, context. Okay. So this is specifically about this one election, which has okay. to be done now, so couldn't wait for okay, Smith. Okay, fair enough. David Scott? Yeah, I agree with that point that Malcolm just was making. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that... Um, because the others that you rightly mentioned in your remarks, the European elections, the local elections, and for that matter, the UK general election, are fixed now, we know that for, as it were, forevermore. So has the government given any thought to how the Scottish elections in the future are going to fit into that timetable, given we have certainty around those other elections? Obviously, when this order is passed, we will have um, competence for the one election after the next election, and, and that will be discussed by Parliament in the, in the bill that's forthcoming. When additional powers come, then clearly, again, it will be for Parliament at that time to, to make those, have, to have those deliberations about what happens in the long term. But I think, you know, I think uh, there's a, an argument for five-year terms going forward, isn't there? Okay, thank you. Any other questions from any other colleagues? Again, okay, no further questions. We'll then go to agenda item two, dealing with the same order. Um, ask the Minister to move motion S4 m one four two seven four that the devolution for the powers committee recommend that the scotland act 1998 modification schedules four and five order 2015 draft be approved move to convene um the other members agree thank you th thank you very much thank you very much minister we all agree um now um, just on terms of that, do you, is, is it okay if we delegate to Duncan and I just to sign off a short report in regard to rec the recommendation to Parliament? Okay, thank you. Um, item agenda three then is a draft report on IGR uh, to, to consider the draft report at future meetings in private. Are we agreed? Yes. Uh, we now move into private session. Yeah, thank you.